Hello, hello. So this video is called The Beauty of Ayahuasca. So what is ayahuasca? Ayahuasca is known as the vine of the soul and it is a combination of two different plants and it comes from the Amazon rainforest in South America and Almost all of the indigenous cultures that live in South America have been using this ayahuasca for thousands of years. And the ceremony that they use ayahuasca with is basically the center of their spirituality or their, their culture in general. It's very much the centerpiece of it. And in the last 60 years on planet Earth, all these anthropologists and researchers have been going to the Amazon and learning about all these different plant medicines and things, and some of them have participated in these ayahuasca ceremonies and seen how incredibly profound these ceremonies can be and um, really life-changing for a lot of people. And so now there's a lot of what's called um, ayahuasca tourism, you could say, where Westerners are going to South America to participate in these ceremonies. And these ceremonies are also now taking place in America. People are bringing the medicine up here. And I was lucky enough to participate in one of these ceremonies a few weeks ago, an ayahuasca ceremony. So I'd like to share a bit of my experience and just kind of spread the word about ayahuasca and what it is and maybe clear up any confusion that people have about it. And I'd love to answer questions that people have about it. I mean, I have some knowledge and experience with it and... Um, so my personal experience with it, um, there, it was a ceremonial setting with about 20 people and um, it basically, it's a, it's a tea, it's a brew and um, it's a very, it's regarded as very sacred and very healing and a lot of people often purge when they take it. Um, and that was my experience a little bit probably 40 minutes into the experience I had this huge emotional release where I I felt like my heart was opening and I was able to feel simultaneously the suffering on this planet the immense suffering and pain that that I've experienced in my life and other people have experienced but also simultaneously with that, all of the incredible joy and love and just all these feelings that we normally are maybe kind of shut off from or we're kind of holding at bay. Um, but it was just like opening to that and just being at peace with it. And it was so incredibly beautiful and profound and um, and a little bit after that, I started purging, and it, and it was, but it was a very healing purging. I felt like I was releasing fear and releasing judgment. Um, that was one of my big intentions going in was to release judgment. You know, it's like I'm tired of carrying around all this judgment of other people and myself, and I just wanted to let it go. And that was my intention going into it. And as I was throwing up, I was like seeing me myself just releasing this. And um, it just felt so good to get all of this nasty stuff out of my system. And afterwards, I just felt so cleansed and so much more aligned with, with nature and the rest of the natural world. And I feel like that's largely what ayahuasca is here for, is to help out us Westerners who've kind of gone astray from, 
from the rest of the natural ecosystems and ayahuasca helps us kind of come back into balance and um, when, I, when I went outside after the ceremony I just felt so connected to the to the earth and to the whole planet and um, a common theme is that it feels like boundaries dissolve all sorts of boundaries that are normally in our day to day life with ayahuasca is they're just dissolved and so the boundaries between me and the rest of the hidden parts of myself were just dissolved and I was able to see myself in new ways um, but also the boundaries between me and all the other people in the ceremony just felt like they dissolved and we were all connecting on a very deep level and it was just so beautiful the beauty of ayahuasca this sacred medicine um, and so I if you're interested in this I highly recommend just doing your own research and if you really feel called to going to a ceremony of some sort whether it's in Peru or somewhere else but I mean there's lots of amazing resources online on this world wide web that we have and I think our mainstream culture often has fear or apprehension of of plant medicines and things but these plants medicines have been used for thousands of years by these cultures and are regarded as incredibly powerful whereas so many of the pharmaceutical things on the market have only been in existence for 10 years, you know, and we're shoveling them down these like neon pink pills, you know, that are made in factories. For some reason, we trust those, but we don't trust these ancient plant medicines. Um, so I think we really need to reinvestigate these things. I have some other videos, which I'll post the link to about that. Um, but just plant medicines in general, I feel, are very beneficial and can really help us to heal ourselves and heal each other and heal our entire planet, which is in such a precarious situation right now. So I'll post a bunch of links below that you can check out, but I'd love to hear any questions or comments or ideas that you have about ayahuasca or any other entheogens which is means um, releasing the divine um, also called psychedelic plants um, whatever you want to call them I feel they're very beneficial if if used properly and respectfully um, so thank you for watching and please share any thoughts or video responses and check out all the links below. Thank you.